Welcome to Full Measure. I'm Cheryl Atkinson. You had a lot of ill detainees. They would talk about the incision. What procedures were they doing? China's rivalry with the U.S. spans politics, the economy, and even sports. Today we have an exceptional story of intrigue about an untold drama happening at the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. Lisa Fletcher reports it surrounds a U.S. figure skater and her father, who was a Chinese dissident a generation ago. Did China ever admit to spying on him? No. A Chinese spokesperson last year said the allegations were made out of thin air and accused the U.S. of using it to hype up a China threat. Sounds now, familiar. Got an interesting footnote on this story, though. Two American employees of the Department of Homeland Security, of all places, were also arrested in this crime. One of them for allegedly accessing a law enforcement database, getting Arthur and Alyssa's passport information, and then giving it to the other person who was arrested who allegedly passed that information on to the Chinese. God, Homeland Security. Yeah. Interesting. Thanks, Lisa. And when we come back, could the federal government be hanging on to money that belongs to you? There's a fascinating battle between states that want to return billions of dollars in money to the rightful owners and the Treasury Department, which, believe it or not, is fighting the effort. Congressman Ron Estes started the challenge over abandoned savings bonds when he was Kansas State Treasurer. Part of the problem, it may be, is that grandma and grandpa may have bought the bonds worth of money that belonged to them. And so we were able to get that. Measure. If you want to hear more of our stories, you can check out our podcast. It's called Full Measure After Hours, wherever you like to listen to podcasts. Until next time, we'll be searching for more stories that hold powers accountable. Thanks for watching. I'm Cheryl Atkinson.